Welcome to our 11th annual Parkinson's Seven Stride. I want to help you register if you haven't, or maybe walk you through some of the tools you can use to fundraise for this year's book. So you can start with opening your browser. You can click in and put the stepandstride.com website, and it's going to bring you to our page. So if you need to register, you would click the top right here, click register, and follow through with the prompts. So you're going to click uh, a location. So whether that's the closest city near you, or if you want, you can be a part of our team Alberta. We just have that open and available to anybody who would like to be a part of that. Then you can register as an individual. Even if you are to register as an individual, you can still join a team later. That's not a problem. And then if you are looking to join a team, you know your team's already created, you can click that as well. If you are the captain and you're starting your team, you're gonna click create team, and then you're gonna start your team here. And then everyone can find that team and add it. So even just a look here, we'll have to click our location and which way we wanna register today. So are you returning or are you new? So we're gonna walk through like we're new. So next is the waiver. So you can read through here. Everyone has to click off on this to continue. Then it remembers my account information, but you would put in your personal information, follow the prompts to complete it, and then continue. And it'll keep going to build you to your page. So then for instance, We'll go back one more time just to see what it looks like if you want to join a team. So I have to click my location, join a team, and then you, you'd search your team up here. So our families made this team ABBA, and if I want to join it, I click join, and then you're going to go through the same prompts that we just kind of looked at, your personal information, the waiver, and so on. So I'm gonna go back to the login, top right here, click login, and it's gonna take me straight to my dashboard. So it's fun to learn what's here in the dashboard. So in the dashboard, we see our personal, we have, you set a goal when you set up your registration. So mine was 200, I can see how far I am in that. I can click the second tab, I can see my goal for my team and how far in that goal we are together. Further down, once you start sending emails, you'll have an activity feed. It's gonna show you the emails you've sent out, if that person donated, uh, if you need to follow up with them or if you need to thank them or respond. It gives you some nice little reminders and prompts to do that. Then you here with the team members, you can see your team members and what they fundraise. So that as kind of a team captain thing, you'll see that. Um, so nice, next we can go here to the far left side, click my page. Here you're able to customize your page. So there's a few things that you can do. So we can click edit, and I can edit what my title of my page is. Right now it's welcome to Alicia Jeffries page. Here's your personal URL. This is my goal, you could adjust that. And then I can add images. So you would click here and upload an image that you'd like. So you can zoom in and out. So you click upload, select an image that you might wanna use and adjust that and then click save. You can also include some personal text in my story. So if it's a story of why you walk, who you're walking for, what your team's about, you can add that here. Really easy, you can just delete what's here. You can bold, you can link things, add more images. 
And then once you're done, you would click save. And it's gonna make some updates here. I didn't change anything, so you're not gonna see anything changed. But that, there's a few things that you can make it really personalized. So then the next tab, you'll have team. So we have, as a captain, I have my team page. And just like I showed you for your individual page, you can update your team page here. Photos, story about your team. And this is just really nice to customize so people know why are you doing what you do? How, how are they making a difference? So next tab, sorry, that I went to here on the far left is our donations. So this is gonna show you the history um, of my donations. And as a captain, I can also go into the team donations. You can see the four emails that are attached to those donors. You can export this um, as well, so you have that information. Um, so this is just listing out, so you can kind of track and know again later how, who am I gonna thank? How we're contributing to help me reach my goal. And then to follow up with that on the far left, we can go to follow-ups. This is gonna show you, um, again, it's sharing all the stuff you've done. So we haven't thanked any donors. I've sent 17 uh, contacts. I, sent 17 emails and out of those 17, three have, three of my contacts, sorry, I have 17 contacts in there, three I have not emailed. And again, it's gonna show you, and it's really nice, it shows you a status. So they've, this person's viewed the page, this one, it looks like it bounced maybe, it didn't go out, should I send it again or do I need to follow up with that person to get an appropriate email for them? who it's sent to, she still hasn't opened it. Um, these ones aren't delivered. So you can see all of that and track your progress and adjust things as you go along. Do I need to update that email or send it again? So then to below that, we have sent emails. So we can, we have some preset emails in here for you. So how you change that is up here with template, there's a drop down menu you can select. So sponsor me would be your email to ask for donations. Thank you, an email to send out to the people to join your team. Um, as a captain, you could use this default email to teammates and they, I can communicate with my teammates that way. And then of course, thank you and a blank one. So I'm in sponsor me here. If you have an account from previous years, your email will be saved in here. So I kind of have an address book here. And these are all the people in my book from the past years. So all I have to do is click off here who I want to email, add those recipients, and that's who it's going to send to. Or if I'm just going to, I'm just typing it in. You can do that too, click enter, and then it'll work there. And then it will save that again in your address book. So here's our default. These little brackets will pull your fundraising goal amount in there, but you can easily highlight, delete, type, add photos into this email. And once it's ready, you can send that off. Back to our far left, we can go to this icon, which means get social. So you can send it out to your networks. I can create a social post, Facebook here, Twitter, LinkedIn. So you have to have those accounts on those platforms. Um, it's easy if you're logged in on your browser already with them, it'll automatically kind of go through that with you. And back to our far left, fitness goals. So you can use this, you could link your apps. If you're savvy and you're using Strava, you can track all your progress as well. Maybe as a team, you have a fitness goal of kilometers that you walk together. So there's different things there that you could use this tool if, if that's your thing. So that's everything in the far left. Um, we went through all that. 
Uh, and then top right is my account. So you can access your account settings. This is the address you inputted, but maybe you want to update it. Um, your account information back to your top right. My username and password if you want to reset that. And there's badges. So it's going to show you. You can kind of collect some badges as it goes here. Thank you again for joining in or checking out this video so you can get registered for our 11th Parkinson Step and Stride. If you have more questions or need information, please give us a call on our 1-800 number at 1-800-561-1911 or email us at stepandstride at parkinsonassociation.ca. Thanks so much.